Hey everybody, I wanted to go over how a flexible budget works. A flexible budget is just redoing the original budget. So you already know how to do a budget. So let's do a budget for 4,000 and 6,000. Why is that a flexible budget? Because you're doing it at more than one level, one, more than one activity level. So it tells you in the story, sales are $45 each, variable cost is $18 each. Um, it gives you the fixed cost for selling it administrative. Okay, so you have the basic things that you need. Um, selling administrative variable is 2% of sales. So you can take 2% of the 45 and that's where your $90 comes from. So if you're going to do a budget, just like we did in the budgeting chapter, you would take your 45 and you would multiply it times the 4,000. And at the $6,000 level, same thing. You do the 45, but now you're going to do it times the 6,000. For your variable items, same idea. You're going to take your your 18 times 4,000. Over here, it's going to be your 18 times 6,000, right? So your variable items are times your volume. Same thing with your contribution margin. It's your contribution margin, which is your sales minus your variable cost. So the 45 minus the 18 minus the 90 cents times your activity. Now the fixed costs are the same at both levels of activity. They don't change with activity by definition. We do have a little nuance here though. They do tell us it's a step fixed, meaning that it's 100,000 up to 5,000 boxes and then 138 above. So it will be fixed at 100,000 at the $4,000 level and it will be at the 138. Um, sometimes they have to rent a new facility or they have to add an extra dryer or something like that when you get above that step level. Okay, and then your operating income is your contribution margin minus your fixed cost. So that's really just budgeting, which you already know how to do. We just budgeted at two different levels and therefore it's a flexible budget. Okay, because it flexes based on different volumes. Fine. Now, though, we're going to step into ev the evaluation process or the performance review process. And that is where we're going to compare the original volume to the volume achieved. So the original volume was the budget before the year happened. So we thought we were going to sell. They adopted the 4,000 unit level. They think 4,000 is more believable. And so we would call that the static or the planning budget. Okay, sometimes it's called the original budget. So they originally had that. Well, we've already solved for that. So we already know those amounts. So we can populate that here. All right. Now, they didn't achieve the 4,000. They did better. The actual sales volume was 4,500. So now you have to do yet another budget at that level. And what's really tempting is that students really want to play with the actual results. But here, the flexible budget, just like for the 4,000 and the 6,000 volume level, is just redoing the budget at a new volume. That's all it is. Don't play with your actual in dollars here, only actual volume. So what would this be? Well, just like we did before, it's the sales price times the new volume. It's the variable cost times the new volume, right? So that part we already know how to do. Now what about the fixed cost? Are we above that step? It was 100,000 up to what? 5,000 boxes and we're not at 5,000 so we can use the 100,000 fixed. All right, this is the flexible budget. All we did was as if there was a third one up here. We did one, we did two, now we're doing 4,500. That's your flexible budget. And the difference between the dollar amounts in your static and the dollar amounts in your flex are called the sales volume variance. Sometimes it's called the activity variance. Uh, 
Um, so there's several possible names depending on what book you're using. So that is the difference between what was at the 4,000 and what was at the 4,500. And we do that as an absolute value. We don't do plus or minus. We're going to do favorable or unfavorable. Unfavor favorable or unfavorable. So if you're bigger than your plan and it's revenue, that's favorable, right? Yay, happy times. Revenue is higher than you thought. But if expenses are higher, that's not happy. That's unfavorable. Okay, so let's see here. There's no variance here. And then here we have a, when, when operating income is higher, is that favorable or un? Yeah, so being bigger depends on whether it's revenue or profits or expenses. So the favorable and unfavorable is analyzed using logic not using plus or minus, okay? Because it depends on the account, whether being bigger is happy or sad. Uh, you could also net them. The favorable numbers minus all the unfavorable numbers better net out to this favorable. So if you're going to net them, the bigger one is the sign of the net. Now we can put the actual that they give you over here. So let's put that in there. They tell us sales are 202 500. And the box expense, which is the variable portion, is eighty-two thousand. And sales commission was four hundred and fifty, and the fixed costs were one hundred and nine. And of course, we can we can do the subtotals: sales revenue minus your variable cost gives you your contribution margin, and your profit is there. Your flexible budget variance is the difference between actual and the updated flexed budget. All right, so let's see what's it going to be. So here, there's no difference. It's exactly what you thought. So they sold it exactly $45 a unit. No variance there. What about the actual here? Your variable product cost. So you have a $1,000 difference, absolute value. Is it happy or sad? You spent more than budget, so that's unfavorable. All right, what about this one? So that's absolute value, so that's favorable. You spent a lot less. You must have changed your commission plan there. All right, and so your contribution margin, well, we don't have to do that subtotal there, but we could. We could do that net those out and that would be favorable. And then here we had a $9,000 difference in our fixed cost and that is unfavorable. Now what about operating income? So the flexible budget is unfavorable. Operating income is smaller than than what's in your flexible budget. Now, see these arrows here? The difference between your original plan of 4,400 and what you achieved is favorable. We've broken that down into how much of the favorability is due to volume being higher, which is good, but probably not a reflection of cost control or, or clean process. That has to do with appealing to the market, which is a great thing, but you wanna know where that favorable or unfavorable came from. Did it come from internal operations or did it come with interacting with the marketplace? Because they have different diagnoses and different reactions and, and takeaways in terms of trying to replicate that good thing or trying to diagnose that bad thing. So the sales volume variance here, which is favorable, nets against the flexible budget variance or the spending variance. Sometimes this is called the spending variance. put that in here. The net of those two, this one was favorable and this one was unfavorable. It nets out to favorable, which is the difference between there we go. So overall it was favorable, but 
it was highly favorable due to volume, and we gave up some of that favorability in terms of cost being higher than the original plan. Okay, so that um, helps you to understand where did the good news, bad news come from. And here it's mixed. It's a mixed message. All right, so let me know if you have any questions.